Welcome back to Stickman oh. Trenches. It's a game we've been working on and you can wishlist on Steam right now. But we've been making some changes. And for one, we've made the machine gun even more powerful and created a concrete bunker this. around it. Now I want to say a huge thank you to all of you guys. Since I'm developing this game, it's fun to get your ideas, your constructive criticism, and your feedback. My god, we have gotten so many comments. So much feedback on this game. You guys are amazing. So keep it coming. So to show off some of the changes, let's hop into a battle. And right now we've got some rain, and you're gonna notice one thing, that the infantry moves slower. That was one of the biggest requests, is that weather actually have a practical and meaningful impact on the battlefield. Why did I just spend money to upgrade that trench? Because I'm smart. So right now, it's approximately 30% of the troops' movement speed is reduced because rain creates mud. We want to have a visual effect. Oh my god, I just rushed this position. Hello, buddies! Did I retreat? We can't. We've added the tier three upgrade to the machine gun, which you're gonna be seeing today in action. And artillery barrage and precision artillery depend on the weather. One of the ideas mentioned was having wind effect poison gas. This was brought in by ultimate tiebreaker. This is a brilliant idea. We wanna have that. If the wind changes and you fire gas pretty close, well, it might come back and hurt you. Action, reaction, cause and effect, let's take the machine gunner. Metals at some point in the game get a little overwhelming. It seems that the most liked suggestion in the last video was brought up by Johan. We have, not every time a unit fires does he hit the enemy. Oftentimes they miss. Instead of having a little miss indicator pop up over their head, as you can see right there, we want to have it, or what you guys were recommending rather, was that there'd be little like sprays of bullets like hitting the ground and dust popping up. So this seems like a pretty decent trench to make our stand. We've taken the middle, we'll have it supported, and this is where we'll upgrade our machine gun and try to get it up to tier three. So keep the feedback coming, keep the ideas coming. This is what I want to instill in this community with you guys. I would like to make games with you guys. Now we're gonna choose the officer because I wanna show you something else that we've done. The officer has a gas mask and you see the little red circle. Whenever he's around units, they will automatically pick up a gas mask. So look at this contingent of men in the bottom part of this trench. Boop, gas masks. Now if the enemy were to hit us with gas masks, which the AI doesn't have just yet, we would have a greater survivability. In the last video when we were still showing off a very early version of it, as we jump to tier two of machine guns, gas was still a little bit too powerful. We've tweaked that a bit. So when the enemy brings out an officer and I have the metals to unlock poisonous gas, we're gonna try it out in action. So we've got quite a bit of money. There is the tier three and let's go ahead and upgrade our trench so that if the enemy uses or rather when the enemy uses artillery, we're gonna be ready for him. I want an officer just to see if I can't get more men with gas masks, but at the same time, the enemy, look at this. For the first time, the enemy is making machine guns. So since that's the case, we're gonna bum rush them. Now it's only a tier one, but I still think three men, including two shotgunners, and that machine gun might be enough to defeat this wave. Let's see, especially in the rain where we're gonna be moving slower. This is brutal. Oh wait, we have enough men. We've taken the trench. Let's retreat though. We want them to rebuild. Remember, I'm showing you early test branches whenever we incorporate these ideas and we're trying to iterate rather quickly. So everything is subject to change and definitely subject to tweaking. The enemy has upgraded to the tier three version of the machine gun and I feel like I've just got to test this out. We've got to hit it with infantry and then when we get the medals, we're going to hit it with some artillery just to see its durability. Let's summon an officer. So as we charge, we're trying to take the trench. We took the trench and destroyed the machine gun and we can get poisonous gas. Now the enemy hasn't sent out a unit, so this is kind of interesting. I don't occupy these trenches, but I was the last one to occupy them. So visually it looks like they're mine. So in theory, I could cheese this and put a machine gun, but I'm now realizing through testing that this is something we will want to change. The enemy's captured it. I could, I could totally cheese this right now. I could break my own game because there's some things I clearly, uh, we, we clearly haven't thought about. Come on guys, get an officer. It's time to test chemical warfare. Well, this is what it looks like when they don't have an officer. A shell drops, green gas spills out, and everybody dies. 
Now visually or animation in 4 effect it might be more fun and interesting to hear some coughing and stuff like that. Maybe a mode where they turn into zombies. No promises that would be a crazy request. But one of the big pieces that we got a lot of comments on was the upgrade system. That was basically the call to action that I asked about and we've got a lot of feedback. I think the one that I'm most interested in this video is right now we only have the Renault FT-17 tanks, a machine gun, and a cannon variant. And we're still tinkering with those. All right, let's try poison gas on the machine gunner. He dies. The machine gun stays there, but you will have to buy a guy to replace him. They've purchased their guy. They've upgraded him. Once it gets to tier three, we're going to rush it. Real quick, here's a little preview of the special weather conditions we're considering. So after you think about what vehicles we could add, what do you think of these? We also want to make them toggleable. So if you just want a clear battlefield and no weather effects, well, you don't have to. So I've got a tier one and a tier three. They've got a tier two machine gun. For whatever reason, the AI seems to be... I don't think we chose easy. Let's go ahead and unlock a machine gun tank. Now, I think we're going to upgrade a tier three and end this battle, or at least try to. We're shooting at the base instead of the rifleman. The rifleman took the trench, and as a result... Oh, the sniper versus the machine gun. This sniper shot the dude out of the concrete bunker. I don't know if that's intended. They just took it. Pretty smart counterattack by them. But you forgot your gas mask, boys, and now you're dead. We're going to summon a machine gun tank. Cannon tanks were sort of balanced. I guess you could say almost nerfed to where when they're firing at guys that are entrenched positions, they don't do as well. But now that I think about it, I almost feel like machine gunner, machine gun tanks should be sort of similar. So let's see, how does it look? The tank goes through the bunker visually, which is pretty funny. Then the fact that we have rain is going to mean that our men are gonna move slower. So we actually should have launched him maybe a little bit sooner. And we could gas that bunker. Testing purposes. There we go, we gassed him. All right, so this should be GG. And what we wanna do now is maybe up the difficulty. I thought I did mo uh, moderate, but we'll go to difficult, which is really difficult. In previous versions, this would just give me serious, serious inferiority complex because the enemy AI would just dominate me. Now what we're doing is restarting and looking it's night and rain. What we want is just a night battle. There we go. This is a night battle, which should affect artillery and precision artillery accuracy. So the time of day and the weather are going to affect the accuracy of artillery. So if you're an artilleryman and you just love it, well, some weather effects are going to affect it negatively and some positively. So first things first, we need to establish a forward operating base and when possible, give it a machine gun and wait for some artillery to try to use it. Now, since we're fighting the most difficult AI, assuming this build is decent, we should see the enemy use a decent amount of artillery. Now, they're upgrading their rearmost machine gun to tier two. And ultimately, what we're trying to do is bait them into attacking us, preferably before they get artillery. That being said, this looks like a good raid opportunity. I said a good raid opportunity, but we lost a decent amount of our men. So we'll pull back, because this is the one with my machine gun in it. We've got a metal. We'll spend the money on upgrading the machine gun and try to get that tier three. Since it is the new thing and we're making machine guns in Stickman Trenches more powerful, remember that you can wishlist Stickman Trenches on Steam right now. And yes, we want to get this on mobile too. That is a request I get a lot, especially over on TikTok, where we share a lot of updates. The enemy's going to take this trench again. We could go for a raid now that we've got machine gunners. Let's get some shotgunners too. They're always pretty good at assaulting trenches. They were called trench sweepers in World War One. Oh, they bought a machine gun. Okay, well, that co sort of uh, stimmy that. We have this close range standoff. The one unit that would be able to break this standoff in our favor is a sniper. But we have no medals, and I think we would lose most of our men if we attacked this. Maybe not. Let's get an officer. Wow, that was awesome. We've raided the enemy. I start to wonder that since we allowed the enemy AI to buy machine guns, it's affected maybe how much money they spend on men or artillery and things like that. So we're going to have to tinker with that. And if I unlock snipers, I can't use them because snipers are sort of balanced in that. You need also need to spend an additional one medal with their cost. Let me show you. And the enemy bought tanks. Okay, it's a machine gun tank, and they have two tier three machine guns. 
The enemy is playing heavy bunker with counterattacking tanks. This is worrisome. They also got the machine gun variant. We'll upgrade our trench and hope for the best. Remember, that hope is a military strategy. Just not a very good one. But luckily, I think in these builds recently, mm, tanks are a little bit underpowered maybe, at least in the health department. The health department, that sounds funny. Oh, the enemy's like, well, that didn't work. We'll do it again. This artificial intelligence is definitely <laughs> artificial. I need to get the AI to study like the way I play so we can have a barren AI in this game. <laughs> that would be amazing. Chat GPT, please listen and watch how I play the game and do what I do. We're gonna test out artillery barrages. Now, largest bombing zone fires multiple shots and can damage trenches. Look at how wide it is. In the old version, like the artillery box would be one third of this. So let's hit this area and watch where the three different explosions. <laughs> that was so lucky. Now it's RNG. And that's basically like, in a way, it's almost like we just rolled triple sevens in Vegas. All right, once these reinforcements get here, now they did upgrade that. Uh, precision artillery to take out that guy. I wanna see the circle on that too. You know what? He's not protected. Where are these guys at? They're already at my trench. Now, if we can hit, uh-oh, we gotta go, we gotta go. We gotta go now. We gotta go now! Destroy the trench. <laughs> we overwhelmed it and pull back. Now, unfortunately, I can't get my sniper out of there. So we're gonna have to go rescue him. By rescue him, I mean just like occupy that trench. Ooh, tank. Yikes. Okay, well, we have a fallback position. My sniper's doing work. I feel like we need like anti-tank units, like anti-tank rifles. All right, what do we want to do? Let's call in a precision artillery. Look at how big the precision artillery circle is. And it, and it didn't hit precisely in the middle. Relative, let's try it again. Nighttime is dramatically affecting our accuracy. Yes, on this barrage, we got very, very lucky in the first one, but look at how unlucky we got on the second one. Artillery is not effective during the nighttime, and the enemy's just taunting me by upgrading their trenches. There's stickmen in the trenches, and thus, the name of the game. All right, let's go. It's raiding machine gun time. So right now, oh God, stop it. Oh God, I totally messed up. Yep, well, that, that's problematic. With the way the controls use are working mechanically, I dirt myself, but that's okay. All right, let's try a precision artillery strike in this trench. That one was actually rather lucky. We unlocked another one, so for testing purposes, we hit the one guy, but you're not able to do damage to the machine gun. Right now, machine guns technically don't have health bars. They sort of just operate in a way, like if you take the trench, they go away. But I think maybe the tier three, they should sort of act like the bunker in that they have hit points is the idea. That would make the most sense since they're protected, right? All right, call in this, which is just a shot in the dark, quite literally. Look at that, all three artillery fired right up here. And we've got the enemy tank. Normally you hit enemy tanks with precision artillery. And we're gonna try that. And we got very lucky because I took out the machine gunner too, which means attack. Oh, but they just bought him back. <laughs> Well, if you've got money in the purse, you can do that. Oh, there's nobody protecting this trench either. Well, now it's tier three, but if we can just reach it, get a machine gun of our own. There we go. They just used gas on me and took out my machine gun. Okay, this is problematic because it's a machine gun tank and I don't have a lot of men in this trench. Well, we don't need the metals. I'm gonna summon poisonous gas. Now, this is interesting. The poisonous gas is not in this version affected by the weather and we need it to be. So another <laughs> futile attempt at artillery? No, we got the machine gun. Can we hit them before they get that machine gun in? No, they got just enough reinforcements. Maybe, maybe. Oh, we lost a duel with that rifleman. All right, now are my men running all the way to the front? Yes, they are. We need them to do that. I don't want to use poisonous gas because I feel like that's kind of cheating right now. I think we bought that machine gun at the right moment. They've got, okay, here we go. So this is something I wanted to test. They've got gas masks now. Now, only three of them have it. So in theory, these guys should have a greater chance of survivability. One to die. Two of them survived out of that three. So 66%, it needs to be better. Oh, we upgraded that right as it died. All right, so once you lose a machine gunner, it costs 120 to get the dude back. Uh-oh, that's too strong of a squad. We're gonna lose this bunker, I think. Yep. Well, this is brutal AI and it sure feels like it. Now this is this is our most defensive one. Uh-oh. I think our guys may have arrived. Yes, they arrived precisely when they mean, meant to. 
All right, another precision artillery test, which is not a good idea against this level of difficulty for me. The enemy's just moving troops in, in force. I think what we should do, what I wanna have is like, that's one thing I've thought a lot about. And people were sort of toying with this in terms of theories and ideas for the upgrade system. Let's unlock the cannon tank. I guess the five medals would have been better because I would have been able to unlock that then had one extra medal, which I could have used on a sniper rifle. Speaking of which, we want one. But spending upgrades on maybe like increasing the speed at which you can buy units. One of the other ideas was like when you buy a rifleman, you don't buy a singular rifleman like we do right here, but instead a couple of them. Ooh, we got a little sniper on sniper action. Our trench is better upgraded. So this is where the idea, right? Instead of the miss, we actually get like little dust clouds where the bullets may have hit near them. All right, it's nighttime, precision artillery isn't precise, but we got a little bit lucky there. And I will take luck every day I can get it. Now we must achieve victory. All right, I wanna do another poison gas test. Three of them all with masks. Last time it was 66% chance survival. This time, 100% chance survival. Greatly increased from the last time we showed this off. Oh God, give me the money, give me the money. I, I, guess I got scared by three guys rushing me. What is wrong with me? Gotta make sure the trenches are supported. Our snipers just work those guys. All right, actually getting to this one and upgrading that, but we wanna secure this one first in case they bring out a tank. Oh, we caught them with their pants down a little bit. Oh, they got snipers. Retreat. I'm gonna have to do it. I didn't have a counter. <laughs> I cheesed it. Now gas, still affecting tanks. We lost a lot of men here. Um, let's get precision artillery. Try to hit the gunner. We missed him. And we just don't have enough men to push. It's amazing to see where the game is now versus like when, where we were at Next Fest, which was back in October. Three months, I feel like so much has changed. And I feel like once we release this, we're gonna have like the money coming in, hopefully, to sort of speed up development maybe. That's the hope, that's my hope anyway. All right, dang snipers again. Oh, they got lucky with their artillery. I can't rush them yet. I gotta wait for my sniper and hope that my sniper kills theirs. We are getting worked. All right, snipers arrived. Oh, we shot the guy right next to the sniper. Oh, we missed him. Oh, this sucks. Tank is moving in right now. Okay, we got the sniper, but at what cost? I think this guy might. We upgraded the trench, there's a lot more misses. Oh, we took him out at the last freaking moment. So I've got one sniper in the trench and I'm bringing up a second, so long as they don't snipe him on the way, or hit him with artillery rather. Tank coming. This trench is fully upgraded. We're gonna go for a precision artillery attempt. And we nailed it. My goodness, did we nail it. That's fantastic. That is what we needed. Get an officer in case they do use poison gas. And a second one. So that would probably protect half of the group. All right. Precision artillery. Ooh, ooh, they gassed us. My gosh. Uh, we, we lost a lot of men there. <gasps> wow. You know what? I'm gonna hit you back there, fella. I hear the tank sound. We need to have it so like your tanks and the enemy tanks sound different. Cause I actually, well, there you go. I bought a cannon tank, but I was like, oh, what if they bought a tank too? Like I wouldn't be able to hear it. Hmm. Please hit it. Oh gosh, we missed. I'm gonna summon. A metal. Here's the cannon tank assaulting an entrenched position. There's only a shotgunner, but there is a tier three machine gun. So let's see how this goes. That guy's dead. Machine gun's crushing. Destroyed the guy. He's supposed to be more resistant to tank fire, so we need to make him actually able to do that. We're gonna save it for a double tank push. And right now the SFX for the tank are sort of basic. Like even when they're idling, it sounds the same. This is it. Oh. Well, I thought it was gonna be it, and then the enemy's like, I see your two tanks, and I'll, I'll raise, raise you one. Dang it, we missed with the precision artillery. Our fate is in the hands of the gods. So where's my two tanks? They stacked up another sort of like working on like their visual variability, like where they'll spawn would be good. Cannon tanks got better range. We'll send in the infantrymen. All right, do I have $200 to get a machine gun? Sorry, machine gunner, you're gonna have to do your thing. Buy us time to precision artillery that tank, yes. We did lose a machine gun, but I think that was a favorable trade all the way around. And the enemy got that. Let's try knight variance artillery. Hey, we got really lucky. 
We're gonna get another artillery barrage, which we're gonna call in. Double artillery. The screen is shaking. One miss right there. You gotta be kidding me. All right, they don't have machine guns, but they have a tank. Of course. I don't know if that's a good idea, but that's what we did. <laughs> we'll upgrade to tier three, and we should have enough men in this trench to hold it. I have so many medals, but not near enough money, and they just got a cannon tank. All right, cannon tanks aren't that good. Shouldn't be against defensive trenches, so we're upgrading our trenches. Now, right there, our machine gunner was not able to hit the cannon tank, so sort of an advantage of the cannon tank. Stop getting tanks, enemy. Stop it. Oh, and they called in artillery at the same time. Oh my gosh, we actually took that. Cannon tank versus trench. Wow. He's missed like three times. Four. I don't know if this is the law of big numbers, or we need to work on this. <laughs> there we go. Stop it. And they just keep rushing tanks. Can I just keep buying this? <laughs> I'm cheesing it. It's part of the game. All right, we need 400 stars so that we can get infantry up here ASAP. Cannon tank versus undefended machine gun. Little poison gas never hurt nobody. <laughs> Even though I knew that poison gas was a little bit unfair right now. I did it because war makes you do things that break Geneva Conventions. I want to be able to convert my medals into money right now. My God, Sniper Fest 2000. Yes. That was critical. Crucial. <laughs> ah, the enemy brought gas masks now. Oh gosh, that officer. That officer just won like the Medal of Honor. Precision in the trench was what we needed. This is the counterattack. Machine gun tank and a cannon tank. Is it enough? It doesn't look like it will be. But we're gonna go as far as we can. This is our last hurrah. We must now sue for peace accords and wave the white flag. Remember to wish list this on Steam right now. And thank you for watching. Stickman Trenches, coming soon.